man i can't get this video out today but we gonna try this again all right focus samantha all right there's just been a lot going on I don't like sharing all of my personal business i already do that too much but <laughs> the things that i have been going through lately has been just kind of confirming things that I've gone through pretty much my entire life and I'm just starting to gain a lot more in understanding of everything and being able to express these things and go through the motions and like fighting it in a new way with new eyes with new ears is just a lot to take in and a lot to work through right when you level up in life it comes with a lot more testing a lot more warfare a lot more learning and it's just non-stop go 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 and being on this platform is hard enough in itself because I'm not on here um claiming to be a prophetic messenger or a preacher or a teacher or anything like that I just honestly want people to better their lives and to have an understanding of what it is to step out of the matrix and gain clarity and realize that we're all just puppets in this world and being controlled by the system, by spirits, by the government, by religious spirit, like religious, I don't know, programming, just there's different kinds of programmings. And it's like, once you start seeing everything for what it is, it's like, what can you trust who can you trust what is real what is fake and the only thing i stand on is god god and jesus christ my lord and savior and stepping out of the deception and breaking free from the lies and the programming and being transformed by the renewal of the mind okay romans 12 2 uh do not be conformed by the things of this world and be transformed by the renewal of the mind so do not be conformed by these this worldly systemic place that we live in and abiding by these rules that ultimately get us nowhere we're stuck in the same cycle doing the same thing living every day paycheck to paycheck or just frustrated angry alone suffering stranded I'm not stranded. I'm just saying like people go through the most because we don't want to be controlled or told when to go eat and when to go shower and when to pay our bills and when to do this. Where is the freedom? Like we have none. We have no freedom. And it's like and then it just like contradicts the Bible in a way because where's our free will? <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to just read what I wrote because this is just it's annoying. I'm not on here trying to preach to people. I just want people to understand that what we're being taught is not true. It's not our reality. It's it's a it's a, a front. It's a game to people. People are playing games with our minds, with our lives, and it's annoying. It's not fair to us because we're all just puppets in this world and we're just like being moved around and it's a, it's a game like you you get to choose what game you what side you want to play on but it's still not fair like you got to go through the most to understand what the fuck is going on and you still don't get what the fuck is going on and that is what's frustrating it's so much deeper than what people can comprehend. The mind control, the gang stalking, the gaslighting and people talking in code isn't always a demon manifesting and working through them. 
you get to choose what side you want to play on. And if you have already chosen that side, that means that you are consciously aware of what is going on. You're no longer a puppet. You're a, I don't know, a, a game player, I guess, trying to, I don't know. I have no idea what is going on in this world, but it's frustrating. And all I can really say is that I stand on my belief as Jesus Christ being my savior. And yes, I may not walk a perfect lifestyle and I have to clean up my foul language and stop smoking a vape and doing worldly things, right? Those are pretty much the only two things that I do that are worldly because other than that, I stay in a bubble minding my own business. And that's why I'm so frustrated because people don't know how to mind their own business. Everyone wants to know what someone else is doing so that they feel better about their lives if they're doing just a little bit better than that person. And it's it's not fair because they, you guys are stripping us from our privacy, from our unique personalities, from our, just our ways of interacting with people because we can't interact with people because if we go out then we're treated like garbage we can't get any good service anywhere we can't it's just so much like the light within chosen ones are so bright that everyone is envious and jealous that we carry ourselves differently not because we're better than anyone but because we have a grander understanding of the schemes that are being played and done it's just it's too much this world is too much and I'm ready to go home I don't know when Jesus Christ is coming back but Lord hear my prayers and come back please come back soon it's not fair technology is is the worst thing out right now. We can't have, we don't have our own privacy at all. You can be on your phone texting someone and they're watching you through your camera. You could be writing something down and then you go out in public and someone is literally saying exactly what you just wrote down on your phone, on a piece of paper, anywhere. And there's just no privacy. There's no sense of, individuality and this is my life and no one else's like yeah I don't know <laughs> but just keep seeking truth and asking for clarity and understanding every day that's all the advice that I can give and for me to be where I'm at today with the knowledge that I've gained over the last 14 years really lets me know that God is real because he's never left nor forsake forsaking me um but it's still the fact that he allows unnecessary things to happen and in a way it is to kind of spark our brains and have us thinking to where I don't know what it is honestly I don't know what kind of games people play and what team they're on and it's just it's confusing I'm just like I'm not confused because God is not the author of confusion, but I'm starting to really realize how in and out I come in to truth and like seeking for answers and seeking for truth. And I know that the Bible has a lot of knowledge in it, but a lot of it is contradicting in itself. And there are secret hidden mysteries in the Bible that will get revealed to you as you grow your relationship with the Most High which is why I have some of the knowledge that I have, but it's still a lot to take in. And so I like dumb myself down and try to forget the things that I've learned and the, forget the things that I like, the wisdom that I've gained because I don't want to go in a cycle in my mind of like in and out. <laughs> I want to fully be in and always understand and the fact that this technology makes us forget things and like the satellites and everything is just so fake 
they want us to be dumbed down. They want us to stay in a box, to be controlled, to be puppeted around. And they could pull the strings and make us move this way and make us go that way. And it's like, no, I want to be my own person. I want to have my own thoughts. I don't want to be controlled. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to be played with in my mind. And that just doesn't exist anymore. And it's only getting worse. And it's old. It's really old. So yeah, stop trying to please people. Stop trying to please everybody and please God and do his will and be in his will so that you can fight against these things that are fighting against him because it's not it's not you or I that they're fighting with. It's who you serve because if you're serving Satan, then they pretty much leave you alone and you get whatever you want. And that's what's so shitty about this world is that you have to go without struggle because you're choosing to fight on the right side of the team. But, you know, get right or get left. So that's it. <laughs>